sewing makes. June was a lot of fun sewing wise. Let's see, I've got to try a new free sewing pattern, which of course I'm gonna share with you. Then I got to be very fancy and played around with my serger. Did a little tutorial for you guys on how to hem your knits and stretch materials without any serger or overlocker. Made a few things for myself. Broke my no fabric shopping pledge. Made a few things for the baby. And overall it was a very successful month sewing wise. So about all of that and all of that information just for you guys to inspire you to create something beautiful too for yourself as well in this video coming up. So let's get started. First, let's get started with that sinister make for which I broke my no fabric shopping pledge. Uh, this is this lovely jersey, t-shirt jersey from Hobby Lobby. I went to Hobby Lobby to buy fabric for, to make something for my little baby. And right now I don't even remember what that was. I walked in, I saw this fabric and I was like, you know what, I have to have it. There's just absolutely no way I'm walking out of here without this fabric. So I bought a yard and I made a t-shirt out of it. The free pattern, the new free pattern that I tried was Toronto Tea by Rebecca Page. Really nice t-shirt pattern, but I'm gonna tell you a little tips and tricks just in about a second if you want to try this pattern as well. So a really easy make uh, came together in about maybe two hours, maybe even less. And then I got to be really fancy with my serger and I did these flat lock seams to make a really nice hemline because because my husband often says that when I just finish my hems on knits with just a zigzag stitch, it makes it look homemade, which I don't necessarily agree with. Um, and a lot of times, you know, you know, who's looking at the hems? But either way, we know that it's there. My husband knows that it's there. So I was like, you know what? I have done this, I've done this before. I know how it works. So I busted out my uh, serger manual, opened it up, just followed the instructions. And, and there we go, a really beautiful flat lock hem on your jersey t-shirt. Now I made another one. Yep, there's two of them. So this one is the one that I'm wearing here. I finished the hem here differently and that's the tutorial I told you about at the beginning of the video. So this one is a three-step zigzag which makes it for a beautiful scalloped hem on your knit garment. And I really love it for myself. It makes it look really girly, really special. I also do a lot of these for my baby's clothes because the, you know, the details are so small, so so intricate and it's just impossible to do a flat lock seam or a cover stitch seam and I don't have a cover stitch machine um, on those little baby clothes so this one is really perfect. I'm going li to link it at the very end of this video so that way if you want to see the tutorial it's there for you and it's like two minutes, literally two minutes and you will know how to do that. So there's two of these. Um, the secret or the little tip that I wanted to tell you about this pattern is that it's quite roomy. It's quite roomy and maybe it doesn't seem too roomy on me right now, but originally I traced out size M and it was so big, it was just way too big. It just, you know, the pattern itself was really nice. I can't say anything about it, but the sizing wise, if you really like big boxy t-shirts, then follow the size chart that tells you what size to cut. If you like it a little bit more form-fitting, still a little bit of room, but not like super big, then definitely see, yeah, maybe make uh, make a mock version first because I th this is the size extra extra small. So from M to extra extra small, I made it like what three or four sizes smaller than it kind of should be. So definitely definitely check the sizing chart if you want to make this pattern. But it's a definitely good one, and I'm planning on making more of these. It's great for summer because it's not clinging to your to your body. Um, and if you make it in a nice fabric, you know it's a it's with a jeans. Oh my god, it's a perfect summer outfit. Dun, dun, dun. So here's another project of June and it is a super special one as well. Not for the pattern that I used. The pattern is the Great British Sewing Bee Free Pattern for a tunic. As you guys know very well, I always shorten it to be a just a, a sleeveless shell. And then I added a flutter sleeve, which I also have a very quick tutorial for how to draft these yourself. Perfect for summer. I will also leave that tutorial at the very end of this video so you can go and check it out. But what makes it perfect is the fabric. So the fabric comes from my fellow sewing friend. Her name is Rima. 
We never met in person. We do share a special bond. She is just a lovely lady all together. And then um, about a year ago, Rima, if you're watching this, do correct me if I'm wrong or right. But I think about a year ago, we did this improv swap, you know, of like some sewing goodies. And without knowing that my favorite color is blue, she bought this beautiful rayon, I believe, and she sent it over to me. And for about a year, I was contemplating what exactly to make out of it because you guys all know, we all know how it is. You buy a beautiful piece of fabric, then if you don't have an idea of what to make out of it just yet, you put it in your stash, then you let it steam in there for about, you know, however long, six months, a year, sometimes two years. And then when you finally have that concept of, wow, this is what I want to make out of it, then you make it. And that's probably the reason why we all have such huge stashes, right? So it took me a while, it took me a while and then I was, you know what, I want to make a beautiful summer top that I can wear over jeans or maybe tuck it in into a pencil skirt and just flirty, flowy, very nice, something that will make this fabric speak of itself and I absolutely love it. I, you know, it's a very special make. And when I was making it, I was thinking about Rima, I was thinking about, you know, her life story I was thinking about with with such a high passion that she speaks of sewing and she's just a very dedicated person. So it was just very special, very special. Rima, thank you so much. You're, you're, you're wonderful. Thank you. I will wear this and I will think of you in the best possible way. And it, this definitely makes me very happy. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So before I show you some of the other makes that I made for myself, uh, particularly there is one of which Jeannie from Aladdin could be really, really jealous of. So before I do that, let me show you two super quick makes for my little baby girl. There is this dress. Both are made from the same pattern, the Lilith uh, Studio, and it's super easy. Uh, this is a, the top is denim, and then I did dye this fabric that I bought from Walmart some time ago. And it's just, uh, I believe it's linen cotton blend or maybe just cotton um, but oh yeah that's another thing that I did this month I did some fabric dyeing there we go so this dress super cute super pretty really perfect for summertime we took some pictures when she just turned six months um, and um, I absolutely love it I absolutely love it very cute little dress let me show you the other one and then the other one I made a little bit too big <laughs> And this is that beautiful, gorgeous pineapple fabric that I showed you last month of my sewing makes. And uh, and I think I, I told you that I really wanted to make something uh, for myself out of this fabric because it is just very fun, very summery, very cheery. I just love it. It's very playful. So I had a tiny bit left of it and I decided to make another jersey dress for her. It's just very comfortable, very comfortable, very breezy, especially when it is so, so hot over here. So this is another make for my baby girl no more baby makes for this month let's go back to the selfish sewing so these pants uh, very lovely uh, made these as house pants very comfortable the fabric is from Joann's and I think that's what makes it look a little bit Middle Eastern and this was in the remnant section and if you guys don't know you definitely have to check it out remnants at Joann's they sell them at 50% off and sometimes you can get up to a yard or sometimes even a yard and a half and it's a really great deal so I got this remnant it was just under a yard and as the fabric is very soft it's stretched I don't remember the content exactly, but the free pattern that I used for these pants is Barb Pants by Style Art. And if you haven't tried Style Art patterns just yet, this is a good kind of like a gateway um, pattern to try from them to decide if you like them or not. But the pattern is great especially when you know that there's not a lot of free pants patterns out there. So the only thing that I modified uh, for this pattern is I added some cuffs on the bottom, which makes it even more <laughs> genie-like. But I absolutely love it. Very, very comfy for wearing around the house. And uh, if you add pockets and make it in a different kind of fabric, very comfy to wear out as well, you know, especially for summertime. Perfect. Just Perfect. So this is another project for myself. 
Here comes another troublemaker of the month and let me put it on myself so you guys can see how it fits. I bet you probably realize and recognize the free pattern that I used for this is the uh, the Ruffle Peplum Top by Peppermint Sewing Mag. Very popular pot pattern. Probably one of the most pop... pop bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Probably one of the most popular free patterns out there. There we go. So, um, fabric, you also recognize that's the Troublemaker fabric that I've been trying to use up because I just had so much of it, but the pattern isn't printed right on the grain. It's a little skewed, so it's really hard to plan around it, but I squeezed I squeezed it in. I squeezed it in, very happy with it, but I didn't have enough of the print, so I made the back and this lovely blue fabric, and then the front and this floral fabric. So definitely a winner on this. The only thing, the only thing, the fabric is just so very, um, I would say, intricate that I believe it's just probably gonna distort with time. And again, it's not cut exactly on the grain, so I think with time, one of the sides is probably going to start pulling on the other one, which, I mean, it's about to happen. It is what it is. At least I made some use out of this fabric and I didn't throw it out or burn it or, you know, cut it up on little remnants to stuff the pillows with. At least I got some use out of it. So I'm really happy about that. Seven makes for the month of June. I hope you got inspired. I hope you will try some new free sewing patterns that I tried this past month and let me know in the comments below what did you guys make this past month. I'm super excited to read as always. Thank you for being so wonderful. Those two tutorials that I promised you, one will be right over here, the other will be right over here. So definitely go ahead and watch them if you're interested in how to finish your hems on knit garments without cover stitch or overlocker or how to make those really nice flutter sleeves for your summer tops. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. You really are. I really appreciate you. I read every single comment. Sew up a storm, make something beautiful for yourself. And until next time, happy sewing. I will see you in the next video. Bye.